Alright, I guess we're doing another Eggman mission. The Shadow One is way later than I thought it was. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. Let's go get this here first, then get inside. What's up guys? It's Daz here, but you don't really care as we are evil. We are infiltrating the hidden base. We are in the pyramid. Or in the desert area towards the pyramid at an early night time. It's cold, it's demonic, we got robots for some reason securing the place and we're gonna take it over. It's also interesting because like we saw how Eggman had taken it over in the hero story or at least we saw, and, you know, there were still gun robots around but you know it's just interesting to see like this is Eggman before his plan had all come together, before Sonic you know even worked out what it was. Eggman needs to work it out first himself, I just don't know. I just really like it. I really like the, the like, narrative time traveling that these sort of 3D Sonic games have. Like, there is no time traveling in it. At least it's not Sonic 06 anymore. Or it hasn't happened yet, so it's never gonna be Sonic 06 anymore. But you know what I mean. It's like, the narrative is time traveling. It's a slightly non-linear storytelling. Even though it is linear, it's just... Bilinear? It's linear twice? Uh, I don't know. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. I just love the format of the storytelling. Because it's like, I'm I'm learning the backstory of the things that I saw the first time. Right. I never usually would go this way, because I'm like, why would I want to if the path is to the right? But I get it now. I really want this chow key. That's all this is here for. Let's see if we can turn... Nope, it's not going to let us turn around. Why would we want this booster pad? Why would we want that? I mean, it got us through fast enough, but still, that seems like a massive risk that we just got lucky on. Oh, well. Hello? Nice moon. I like it. I mean, we saw it in the cutscene, but still, I like it a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, walking is a bit of an issue. Wah! Lovely. Really get used to that yop. Yop and yosh. He's a very yo kind of guy. Wah! And you. Lovely. I like this sort of just basic platforming. I don't know. It's fun. It's, it's more fitting for the, the style of Tails and uh, Eggman's gameplay, so I like it a lot more than if it was in Sonic's level. Like, I wouldn't enjoy it if Sonic had this slow platforming type of platforming task, you know? I'm glad that it's not so much the slow pace, but it's more like the tactical gun game. Like, that's, that's what I'm into. Oh, I like it. The platforms are fitting. And you'd think Eggman would be able to survive if he does fall in this quicksand, but he doesn't. You'd think he'd just, like, abandon the legs and make his main bot fly, but ne it's never the case. I guess because, canonically, he gets in with the legs. I don't know. Wah! And this way, please. Oh, you are not an enemy. You are just the future. Gosh. I'm sure that's probably been said in history before. You're not the enemy. You are the future. Maybe in just, like, TV shows where the bad guy becomes the good guy. Like Avatar or something. I don't know. I want to break all of these for my own entertainment. There are probably rings in here too, but I'm just here for my own entertainment. As I said, I'm here for my own entertainment. Thank you very much. That was entertaining enough. Ooh. Yeah. I also just noticed it's like perfectly cyclical with uh, Tails' level, where they also had it on the exterior of the pyramid, whereas like Sonic was on the interior, and so was Knuckles. So it, I like it. It's, it's, it's cool. The parallels are there. I love stories with parallels. Right. Be careful. I gotta admit though, as much as everyone like hates the sound of this high-pitched beeping and I can kind of get it, I really like the sound of this. The beep, 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 beep with the sound, I don't know, it just, it's, I guess it's just really nostalgic to me and I used to do it a lot, so I just like the sound of it. Excuse me if it annoys you. Also, if you're wondering why I am being so cautious, you can tell it's from experience and that I've died a lot in my previous like playthroughs of the game, so I'm just being nice about it. Plus, I've had enough issues today because I did the finale of uh, the hero story today as well, so... Understandably, I'm a little cautious because I don't want to repeat my times again. Oh, lovely. Dynamite down. Oh. Nope, let's turn around. Uh, it's very lucky that, like, Tails and Eggman always come across all the explosives, yet no one else does. Have you noticed that? Interesting, huh? It'd be interesting to see how an actual other character would play in a, the wrong character's level. I mean, I know you can make mods to make it happen, but I'd just be interested to see how 
what would they have to do? Or if like, that was an official level, like they had Sonic had to deal with the big holes with dynamite on them. I guess he'd just have to dodge them and they'd explode yeah. randomly, but still, I don't know. I'd like it. That went quite well. It was quite fast. Got half the rings. Uh, just less than. Chaos Key. All good. Hmm, Not good that enough. That wasn't so difficult. <laughs> that wasn't so difficult. He reminds me of someone who, ta who talks like this. I don't know. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going. I was going to make a whole joke about. Well, actually, I already did make a joke about the news reporter sounding terribly British, and I'll get to it in a moment. But first, for whatever reason, my audio just stopped, so I'm redoing this level again. I'm playing it in stage select, and now, uh, oh, well, thankfully, I did get the cutscene recorded. All the audio, uh, the visual actually is there. Just for whatever reason, I checked it again. No, I'm all good. My voice just stopped recording at eight minutes and fifty seconds. Oh well. Anyway, to the news reporter. Didn't you know every British person speaks something like they've got a tongue like five times the size of their face? I mean, everyone knows in the United Kingdom, Sonic the Hedgehog is really popular. And especially Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, seriously, the Reserve Bank would have reflected this one. That's how you do a British accent, didn't you know? My version of the joke this time is not nearly as good, but seriously, that news reporter, I think she was trying to be British. Sounded horrible. Who says Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh Lord, I I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We've already got a little bit of backstory from Shadow the Hedgehog. Apparently he's been sent to Earth for being a revengeful thing. Sure, all right, let's make a move. Let's not get exploded by jets. Thankfully, this level did not give me nearly as much trouble as, like, the finale of, uh, damn it, uh, the hero story, so I'm not actually too fussed with doing this level again. It's a pretty simple shadow level. I approve of it. Lovely. I'm liking the sound of the constant wind. That feels cool. Or sounds cool, even. But it makes sense as well, because it's super high up. God rings. Oh my gosh, I think the cat was on it this time. I noticed it. I didn't notice it last time I was here. That's cool. Um, there's an animal on the side here, if you care about that, for whatever reason. There's some... Chaos Soda, I guess, on the roof of that thing. That's long gone now. Ba -ba -da bing 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 And actually, I think we might be near the end. Ah! Oh, yes, last time it wouldn't put me on the spring. I did the thing right, but it just didn't put me on the spring. Really annoying. And this messed up. So let's see if this works now. Yep, it messed up again. Oh, well. These pipes always remind me of my experience with Tough Mudder, where I was putting... I was pushed down a slide. Well, I, I voluntarily went down a slide. 
into a super icy pit and then had to go underneath the super cold icy water and then uh, under some tires. I thought that would push me up for some reason. That was a bad move of mine. And yeah, it didn't work well. I didn't survive the thing. Well, obviously I survived, but I ended up getting pushed out because it took me too long to get under the tires because there were so many ice cubes I couldn't push through them all and they were like, okay, you're gonna get like pneumonia or something at this rate, so get out the thing, stop trying, and uh, try not to die on the way on um, the rest of the 16 mile wonder thing. Or run or whatever it was. But, okay, can I get on it this time? Yes, only because I lean so heavily. Uh, something from my I feel like I forgot something. I guess something up ahead. Oh, that was it. Broken jets. All right. Oh yes, this is the part that blows me up. All right, I thought that was death. So for whatever reason in this port, there's a broken jet. It stays way too close and makes too much noise. You want to hear what it sounds like? Oh, tough. It didn't appear this time. All right, it was playing when we died last time we were here, literally just five minutes ago, but oh well. Also, there's the secret chow container around here. Um, is there an upgrade behind us? I want to say yeah, somewhere around here, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of another level. Or, uh, I, I don't know. As I said, and has been the current theme along the series, in case you didn't know, I don't know where all the upgrades are, and this is not a 100% run. We're just playing the game for a little bit of fun, just a healthy amount in preparation for, and at this point, in celebration of Sonic Forces. Beautiful. And again. I always do it on the third. It just feels like the right timing to me. It's been three minutes. We should be coming to the end soon. I believe these kind of levels are only like three minutes long. Oh, there's knights in the top there. That's cool. Ooh. And on to you. I didn't get to see what that said, but I'm sure it was very interesting. And oops. Away from the explosions. They're a little too early. And here is our ending. Chow's in space too. It's coming. Man, that is actually just a reference to go. the reference in the first game. That's cool. And my audio kept up this time. Woohoo! Bum bum. That wasn't so hard. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! To war the shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is it? This is Rouge. I have located Eggman's base and will proceed to enter it now. Hmm. <sighs> I hate to say it, I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. That's a shame. Um, unfortunately, I, I missed the cutscene because I skipped it in trying to get back to the shadow level way back when, so that's a bit of an issue. But oh, okay, I forgot it's this level. Oh, I'm too busy trying to ramble about other things and I'm getting confused and lost and scared. Ah. Um, hopefully the video will look normally to you. It'll be by the time I finish the game I'll have to find that cutscene and then play it again and put it in later and that's gonna be a real hassle, but uh, Thank you. Is that all you had to say really? I didn't need to know that. I thought you were an animal. So the whole mechanic of this place There's a big robot chasing after us. Well going around doing a loop Don't be in the room when it's here Just go along your merry way and avoid the thing if you can otherwise it will find you scare you and it will laser beam you. As a kid, I hated this level the most because I hate chasing levels. I, I just hate being chased. Uh, I'm so glad I never found that thing in Pikmin 2. I never, I honestly never had that experience as a kid, so thank goodness, huh? Right, let's go to the computer monitor. In the shadows of the scurrying bug. Great, it's following behind it, I guess is what that means. 
Obviously, you can tell where the bug is by the flashing light and the sound effects. Thank you, ghost. But let me go check if I'm wrong. Egg snake chamber. No, I'm wrong. All right. I didn't find a digging tool. I found I found the key and I found the other key. I saw it. We're now looking for keys, if the cutscene didn't already tell you. Thank you. Simply because, um... I don't know what I'm trying to say, actually. I want the extra points from you. I didn't get it. Um... Yeah, I just didn't... I didn't get the... Omo Chow and Eggman. Great. Um, upgrade will probably be in one of these, right? It was for Knuckles. I don't know. Hopefully the cutscene makes sense to you. We're looking for keys to get into the pyramid, I guess. Just the same as Knuckles. The parallels are forever. What do you say? Where the red flame is. Alright, I'll go to a red room next. Wherever that is. I am not actually that sure. Also, there's a rocket here. I imagine that's a digging tool. I hope so. Dig into the egg man under the egg um, the egg scorpion statue. Okay. And I found the digging tool. So we just found the perfect thing for digging. The pig nails. You'll never guess what they do. Uh, you dig. As if nothing else indicated it before this point. Whoops. I forget that we can actually dig now. Oops. I'm just using it for maneuverability. Here we go. Red room. Dude. We want to dig un under a statue. Okay, it's just left. Is it on it or underneath it? Above it? I can't actually remember. Here. Oh, it was right where Omu Chow is. Gosh, how inconvenient, huh? Okay, so how have we already got Eggman doors? Oh well. A skull. Wow, what a helpful, uh, what a helpful monitor. Oh well, this ain't an aquatic mine. Uh, I'll keep looking around till it rings. A room with eight flames. Hey, this looks like eight flames to me. Hey, it's skull. Skull. Is that a skull up there? I ain't sure. Gotta be close, though. And hope the bug doesn't come before I find it, huh? Oh! It's following... This? No. It was there, so it's... it's... Am I really dumb? Oh yeah, if we stay in the shadows, by the way, we're hiding, which is pretty cool. I can't see a skull. Me fighting the camera. Oh, no, no, that was a flower. Where's the skull? Is it just in the middle of the thing? Also, she's saying shoot. It's hard to hear. Uh, there's a monkey over here. Maybe I defeat him? No. Specifically on this half. I'm super sorry for my dumbness. By the neck of a snake attached to the altar. Okay. Is she just on a neck? Because we can't dig into this. Can we dig down here? No. Nope. There's a lot of items in this place. Us. It looks like there's no treasure here. But there's there is! There's a Chaos Emerald here! Somewhere. Somehow. Oh, there's a that on the floor. Is it that? Thank you, Skull. No. I am really not smart. It was there! Like, uh, wh okay, that was just me being a really bad luck with that then, because I was just doing it all over there. I don't know. Not too bad, I guess. But that's us done for today. So for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you for maybe more Eggman? Maybe more Shadow. See ya.